it's great because one of our primary goals besides telling the story of all the Air Force people who have been involved is, is motivating that next generation to get involved in science, technology, engineering and mathematics so they can have the same experiences that we have. And a lot of people are making that connection. They're, they're seeing that this is fun stuff and they're asking questions about, well, where did you go to school? How do I learn to do that, et cetera, et cetera. So very rewarding to be here. Well, it's a, it's a little bit like time travel because it seems like just yesterday I was in there being trained. In fact, in the presentation I did this morning, I showed pictures that we took while that training was going on. And it makes me feel great because when we as a museum competed to get one of the actual shuttles here, when we didn't, we, we were very disappointed. But it turned out that we actually won by getting the crew trainer, where if we had one of the actual shuttles, it'd be hanging from the ceiling and nobody could have that experience. So. We're very fortunate here in Dayton, Ohio, to have this in our National Museum of the United States Air Force. The combination of the STEM learning node and the shuttle itself works great. You know, a lot of the astronauts, the Air Force astronauts, have donated space food and checklists and maps and, you know, photographs. And so as we go through this next year, we're going to be able to bring a lot of that in here and actually put it up on display. And so the richness of the experience that our public is going to have is just going to keep getting better and better.